Upon inserting parts in an assembly, constraints are not yet defined. Parts can be moved and repositioned freely within the graphics area. Within an assembly, parts should be positioned properly to find the suitable fit and function, and achieve the needed dynamic motion between them. You can move parts in the graphics area two different ways. Click and drag the part in the graphics area, or select a part to activate its triad manipulator, and drag from the manipulator. The triad manipulator is a tool that allows you to precisely control the movement of a part in an assembly. It allows you to move the part along the manipulator's axes utilizing each degree of freedom. A degree of freedom is a specific way of a rigid body, or part in this instance, can move in a three-dimensional space. Each degree is associated with a specific component of the manipulator. To activate the manipulator, click anywhere on the desired part. Note, wherever you click defines that selection as the center for the triad manipulator. To reposition the triad manipulator, click and drag the center circle of the manipulator to another point on the part. As you move the triad manipulator, inference points or make connector points appear, allowing you to snap the triad manipulator to any of these points. Make connector points are covered in a future video. Along with the center circle, there are three other handles that construct the manipulator, arrows, squares, and dots. The arrows and squares control a part's translational movement along the manipulator's axes and planes. Arrows allow for movement in one translational degree along the axes, and squares in two translational degrees along a plane. The dots at the end of each arrow control the part's rotational movement about the center of the triad manipulator. Simply click and drag the selected handle to move or orient the selected part in the desired location. The triad manipulator can also be used to reposition and reorient parts in an assembly relative to the assembly origin. Place the manipulator so the center circle is aligned to the part geometry where you would like to align the origin. Right-click on the center circle of the manipulator and select Move to Origin. To reorient the part, right-click on an arrow that aligns to the geometry of the part that should align top to bottom of the assembly, or parallel to the z-axis of the assembly, and choose Align with Z or Anti-Align with Z. Once a part is positioned, fix it in place to restrict all movement for that part. Right-click on the part and select Fix. This removes all degrees of freedom of that part, preventing it from moving in the graphics area. A ground symbol appears next to the instance in the instance list to indicate it's fixed. Fixing is helpful to set the first part of an assembly, ensuring it is in the correct position, usually relative to the assembly origin, and cannot accidentally be moved. If a part needs to be unfixed, right-click and select Unfix. The next step in creating an assembly is defining relationships between the components of how they should be positioned relative to each other or how they should move. To achieve this, mates and mate connectors must be used, which is explained in the next video.